We're gonna take pastels today and take them out of this world. We are going to use a mixed media type. It's only two different things. Beautiful colors, amazing details. Let's go find out what it is. I am hiding my little mixed media artwork so that I can explain how simple it's gonna to be to make something really, really interesting to you and everyone else. Since it's pastels, I am going to put a little bit of lotion on my fingertips, a little, because we are going to be doing blending on blending on blending on blending. Now you know that these have oil in them, so the oil will break down. Here we go, this is what we're gonna be doing today. This was the first one I did. The colors are beautiful. It evokes more of a celestial kind of outer space view as far as I'm concerned. I like the colors, the blending. I left a lot of negative black space on this one. And then this other that I've done has, pardon me, has more color to it, less negative space, not, less of that black, much more white. And it evoked the same feeling as Van Gogh's Starry Night, my daughter said. The first thing she said is, oh, it reminds me of that. I didn't think of that, actually. I was trying to get a movement with the white dots so that it would keep the interest moving throughout the art piece. We're going to do this right now, and you're going to see how two different materials can create an absolutely beautiful piece of artwork. So we'll start out with our black paper. I have my broken pastels and I have my new pastels. Some of my old ones are getting a little dry, but this is how easy. I've got my fingertips a little, a little oily and you're going to be doing circles. Black paper, the lighter colors show up, but when you add a darker color to it, it's going to be spectacular. Get it on nice and heavy because you're going to be blending. The yellow and the green look very much alike. I want to see what my full pastels, same thing. It must be the reaction to the black paper. So I need to put some red in here. Complementary colors will always look good together. Now, I'm going to fill this before I start to blend. I'm going to start with some purple here. You don't have to plan this out too much. This is kind of get free. Just move it around. See what happens. Yellow and purple are complementary colors. I'm going to put a light color in there. It's okay if they go over each other because once you start blending, this needs a blue. Uh, let's not do light blue. I know that my blue is it's drying out. Pastels do dry out around. They're going to look like a bunch of targets, bullseyes. And I'm not going to bother putting my pastels back where they want. I'm just going to be grabbing at them because that's the way to do it. Pinks, light blues, whites, and yellow turns a lime green. But that's all right. Turn it over here. Let's get this pink. I'm using a lot of pink in this. Pink, and let's make this one bright. Red, let's try my side one. When you use the smaller ones, you get a wider band of color. See how that brightens it up? Just one little side stroke here. It's like being a scientist and I have all this stuff to work with. Let's do a light green around that. And then let's do an orange inside. Got to have that purple. Oh, you can see the little mark from my tape. But that's all right because I'm going to blend it. Let's go around this one with purple. One big one in here. Let's try it. Let's start with this. And I don't have enough of these deep blues. The blue does look good because when you blend it with something else, it looks like an eye. I think I need to change that. Lime green. Go over the top of everything. This vibrant orange really makes things look amazing. 
So I'm going to put pink around the red. A lot of pink today. And I am not a pink person. All right. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Turn your page, Miss Linda. And you can use white, believe it or not. I know this isn't going to be yellow, so I don't want to use it. Let's try purple. That looks like the pink. That's a light purple. Dark purple. And then I'm going to throw some red in there for drama. Red is very dramatic. Yes, I think it all needs a little red. That way it'll cancel out some of that pink. Now, you have some open spaces. That's where I actually used my light blue and dark blue in the other one. And it actually worked out very nice. So I'm going to use it again. Now, I didn't worry so much about everything when I was putting this color in. I have to do it like that because it's a new one. Maybe it'll give it a little bit of texture as well. And we need some blue in here. This is when I went over the other ones. Your eye will tell you it needs color there, it needs color there, it needs color there. You can take a white and change it up by just going sideways. I'm not going to do complete circles because I want it to join these together. All right, now we have the color on. Now you're going to take your fingers, and I might need a little more oil, and you're just going to go in a circular motion. Don't go over it. You will flatten it out. Just go over it once or twice at the very most. You're pushing and meshing and blending these colors. Your hands are going to get very, very colorful. A little more oil, lotion. Let me think. There we go. Around and around and around and around. Don't over blend. You will lose your colors. You will lose that beautiful movement. Turn your paper so that you can get that circular motion without crinkling up your paper. Now, I forgot to put a little bit of blue here. I'm going to do blue and pink just because. A little bit of blue and pink. I actually liked it with not too much of the negative the background showing one or two more to smoosh and move around you're going to change this all up with your white paint this is very dull and i'm going to use a red in there because green and red looks really well if i put too much color it's going to get flat i did flatten one out but i covered it up with my white all right these are all done i'm going to push them off to the side and I'm going to get my little plate. Now you want it flat. You don't want to use a little cup or anything. And this is all the paint you need. A little tiny bit of white. And I'm going to shake it around so that it gets flat because you're going to be dipping into it. I found when I used my pencil that I had to go over it twice. Today I'm going to let it be a little hollow in the center. And I use the tip the back end of a paintbrush. It should be sort of flat so you get that dot. You can use either side of this. Oh, this is one of my pencils from our Etsy box. There are no mistakes. That's my motto. So you can brush these little pieces off if you like, and then you're going to start dipping. Now this is here, and you're going to first one double, double it off. Take your time. If you go too fast, the circles will turn into ovals, which will be fine. You want to show movement with these dots. You want this circular motion to show. Now, I am going to doing this very fast so that we can let you get to it. See how that one was bigger because I didn't dab it off? But that's all right. You want different sizes. You want it to start showing that circular movement. You don't want to over white it because then you eliminate or make it the color just disappear. Last time I did both, I did the, the big and the little at the same time. 
I'm trying to save some time here and show you this. Just because it's not a circle doesn't mean that you can't create that curve, that swirl. That's what we want. This one will be the hardest because it's in the center and it is one of the first things that the eye will look to. Let's get up here. All right, dotty dot dot dot. All right, not too many. I want to go a little lighter. I think I went a little heavy last time. Now this I want it to cascade, which means fall, move downward. You can create movement with dots. Then we're gonna go in with the big ones and finish this up. Let's see, I think we need some over here. I can tell it's a little blank, which means too much negative space for the dots, not negative space for the colors. I don't wanna put one in the middle there. I think let's cascade this one down too. That's what I did, I did it too fast. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I lost it. Let's do this. That I did not dip well enough. I'm speed dipping and painting. I would prefer you to take your time. Oh, let's go big. So now this will create a different type of, I'm going to hold this this time. Because I do, when you pick it up, you're going to see that it lifts some of the paint with it. With the bigger one, you're going to have to take your time. It's easier to see where they go, where the blank spots are. Now that one looks like a little cupcake. There we go. Um, bring these two together. That's what you're doing is the dots are combining these circles into one cohesive or matching movement of design. This one is really blank. So this is what I was talking about. When you lift it up, you'll have the circular. I'm not going to fix that this time. I want to see how it looks. All right, this right here needs some big ones. Around, let's do this. Let my eyes follow the dots and it will tell you where to put your large ones. I think that the center of these Oh, this one really needs some uh, round. There we go. I think I'm going to leave them like that. I want to see what it looks like when it dries. It'll probably be stunning. And this looks a little dark. Miss Linda goes in threes, if you notice. I like threes. And let's join these together. Picked it up too fast. Now, all I'm going to do is make this a little bit bigger. Not to worry if they're not perfect circles. It's all about the movement that you're creating. And I don't like these. These are just too not white enough for me. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to let it. Oh, no, I'm not. Miss Linda always does this. Let me see something else that needs to be done. And later on, I'll see something else I could have done. But for right now, I'm really proud of what I've done pastels, blending, colors, throwing that white in to create the movement so your eyes follow the artwork. This is fun. You'll have a really good time. So we let our fingers do the work today with our pastels, just blending, using just a little bit of white dots to make something amazing. Be proud, share this with someone else, and I'll see you next time.